well I can't see it at the moment while you're engaging in a licensable activity therefore it's not on display yeah where you don't need to swear I haven't sworn at you so welcome back to the channel everybody today we are at the waste energy recovery plant on the 2020 industrial estate near Maidstone in Ellington. And we've got a sign there that says uh, visitors security in stores. So we're going to walk down this way along this nicely designated footpath look. And we'll see if we can find out a little bit about the company or about the plant rather. I don't know if it's privately owned or if it's uh, run by KCC, Kent County Council. I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll find out. It's just amazing, these plants and what they do. You know, instead of sending all that waste to landfill, it comes here and convert it. I think they burn it in an incinerator, which then goes through a process that obviously turns some turbines, creates some electricity, creating energy. And I think it's brilliant, you know, especially with the energy crisis on at the moment getting rid of our dependency on fossil fuels and Russian gas, etc. I think it's fantastic doing this. And it's all very well kept, look. It's a nice building, considering it is basically just a rubbish, <laughs> rubbish burner. But we've got a, a, a sign here for security. So we're gonna have a quick chat with them and uh, let them know what we plan to do. Hello there. Is this, um, is this KCC owned or is this privately owned? A bit of both. That's a bit of both, right, okay. And what do, they, what do they do here? They burn the waste and it turns it into, obviously turns a turbine, generates electricity, or what, what is it? Yeah, you produce it. Right, okay, fair enough. Well, I'm, I'm making a video today about different businesses on the 2020 estate. Um, and obviously this is the most interesting one. So I thought I'd just come and let you know. Um, part of my video is I film what I can film from the publicly accessible areas or the, or the public footpath. I'll put a drone over, get some aerial shots. It goes on YouTube. Sorry? Can't put a drone over the site. Sorry? Can't put a drone over the site Why is that? Because it's private property. You, and what? you can clearance by management here. I don't need clearance by the management. Yeah, it's private property. Yeah. And if you, if you feel that you'd have to be up on the top junction. Well, that's what I just said. Yeah, I'll, I'll be up on the top junction. That's fine. Are you, um, are you security? Yeah. Are you uh, private or are you subcontracted in security? Have you got your SIA badge? Yeah. Where is it? It needs to be on display, my friend. Uh, it does. If you're if you're on shift, no, if you're on shift as an SIA yeah. operative, okay, it needs to be on display. Yeah, you're not filming it. Why are you being like that? Because <laughs> yes, I am I'm not having you film my badge. Okay, I wasn't asking to film it. I was just saying, if you got it? It should be on display. It. Yeah, but it should be on display. It does matter because it's a criminal offence if you don't display it. Did you know that? Uh, yes, I've been on security up for a long and you've been doing that. Okay, so where's your badge oh, then? Right, it's just around his desk. Oh, mate, there's <laughs> a gentleman down here at the window. Oh, someone uh, professional. Uh, yeah, I told him you'd let it stand. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be Yeah, that's fine. So, um, so you, how long have you been a security guard then? Okay. So you see on here on .gov website legislation it says you must wear your license where it can be seen at all times when engaging in all designated licensable activities. So where's your badge? If you're on shift as a security guard, that's a designated license activity. So therefore, you should have it on display. So where is it? Well, I have it. Where it should be on display. Well, on display means that I could see it. Yeah, you probably would, but I'm not standing up, so you can't see it. Well, I can't see it at the moment while you're engaging in a licensable activity, <laughs> therefore it's not on display. Yeah. yeah. Because it is on display, but you can't see it. Where? It's attached to my fucking belt. You don't need to swear. I haven't sworn at you. And you don't need to keep filming me. Well, I'm going to because this is evidence that you're not wearing your SIA badge that you should be wearing. You know it's an offence, don't you? No, I know, I know my laws. 
Well, you don't because you're not. Yeah. You haven't got it on display. And, um, just, just show me where it is, <laughs> and then, and then you don't. You don't. You're not painting a bad light, are you? you can make down to <laughs> That's very unprofessional. I'll have a walk round site then. Yeah. I'd like to note that he hasn't asked us to leave. <laughs> what do we think of him? I don't think he's very professional. No, that's for swearing at me. Jeez, doesn't need to do that, does he? So, this is the pedestrian entrance, and you've got the, the gatehouse there. And we'll have a walk over to this side. And this is their visitor's car park, so. I am a visitor, and it says visit a car park, please reverse park and report to security, which is what we've done. And no one's asked us to leave site. So uh, let's have a look down this side. You can say if I'm going to be filming, I need to be filming up from the main road. Uh, look at that. Look. look at the site. Amazing. Got, uh, well, hard to see what they are actually. Oh, they're office chairs, I think. <laughs> I thought they'd be something a bit more interesting than that, I must admit. <laughs> we'll see if we can get a better view from this side. Uh, those look like extraction fans, and obviously, you've got the the chimney there, the stack, and that, you can just see the underside of that. Looks like it's got some sort of fan set up underneath as well. So, yeah, I'd like to have found out a little bit more about this uh, this plant. But they uh, don't seem to be very welcoming, which is frustrating. I thought they'd be all right. Oh, hang on. So is that the FCC environment. So is that the company that controls and operates this uh, this site? I wonder. So we've got a couple of signs here. So the statement on vaping and electronic cigarettes. The growing use of electronic cigarettes as a substitute for tobacco smoking has been a topic of great controversy. With much speculation over their potential risks and benefits, Royal College of Physicians has recently published a report that concludes that e-cigarettes are likely to be beneficial to UK public health. Smokers can therefore be reassured and encouraged to use them, and the public can be reassured that e-cigarettes are much safer than smoking. Okay, so that's just on the general notice board then, which is pretty bare, I must say. <laughs> oh. but, uh, we'll go up and have a look at the vehicle entrance. And we'll see if there's anything to uh, to see up there. And they've got a coach bay here. What do they need a coach for? Perhaps they have their own shuttle bus. Or visitors coaches, maybe. I don't know. at some of these uh, signs over here on the vehicle entrance. So this is the Weybridge. So we got uh, safety helmets must be worn, high-vis clothing, use pedestrian walkways, three meter exclusion zone. What does that refer to then? Where's the exclusion zone? Is that around the Weybridge? Hmm, okay. Speed limit, safety footwear to be worn, safety glasses to be worn, no smoking, slippery floor, beware of moving vehicles. So they've got good safety, uh, safety signs, health and safety signs. And they're having some sort of uh, groundworks done here. All oh, the fences are falling down, so that's not very good. And this one's fallen into the road, look. 
So that would prevent this gate, is looking at it, it opens outwards. It would prevent this gate from opening fully. It would actually stop it just there. And of course, the same on the other side, you'd have the same problem. Your gates wouldn't open fully. You might not be able to get your vehicle out. I mean, I know they've got this gate over here, but even so, it's, uh, it's not good, is it? And there's some signs of some uh, recent drainage going in. Here, look, I dug this trench out. And they've got this uh, walkway that goes down here. I wonder where that goes. Maybe we'll have a look at that in a bit. Anyway, we'll walk back onto the, um, the public road and uh, we'll get the drone up and get some shots. I mean, I've, walked, I've waited around now for, what, good five minutes? It wouldn't take that long for somebody to come down from the building, I'm sure. I'll just go and let the uh, security guard know. I'm gonna take the drone up now. And if his site manager wants to talk to me, he can uh, come and find me on the main road. Just to let you know, if you can hear me, I'm going up onto the main road now. I'm going to fly my drone over. If your site manager wants to see me, he can come and speak to me. Oh, you are there. Hiya. There. Hiya. I was just saying to your security guard, yes. if, um, I'm just going to go and fly my drone off now. So if your site manager wants to speak to me, I'll be up there. Um, we're not allowed to fly above us. Who says? Um, have you contacted FCC and asked their permission already? I don't need their permission. I was trying to explain that to your security guard, but it got a bit funny. Um, I don't actually need the permission because you guys might own the site, which is yes. fine, but you don't own the airspace. Righto, but if your drone was to damage any of the property here or any of the abatements... Then, then I'm insured. You're not insured for a day off here? Uh, I am insured. I've got my own public liability insurance. Public liability wouldn't cover you for it damage? It would cover any damage that my drone causes if it was to spontaneously combust and drop out the sky, which it wouldn't do. Because I, I, I fly them very safely, don't worry, I do this every day. <laughs> As, um, we have mainly people here that fly drones, but obviously we're pumping out a lot of temperature at the top there, your drone yeah. will not like. Oh, I won't be going straight over the top. What I'll be doing is I'll be coming over the site. I won't go, I'll, obviously I'll avoid the chimney because that's just stupid. Flying near the chimney would be ridiculous. I'll fly around the perimeter, I'll fly over the site, get some overhead shots, and then in be about 10 minutes I'll be gone. But I was, actually, I was more interested in about what you guys do, because I've seen you online, yes. um, and I wanted to find out a little bit about the company. And I know sometimes places like this do tours. Um, I'd love to do that, but I'm not, I'm not expecting that today, really. No, um, we have a procedure for all that. We have people to contact for any of this sort of stuff that you'd like to do. Okay. But it's a request-based stuff. It's that's not fine. just come on site and have a go. Yeah, that's fine. Well, if I okay. want to do a tour, I'll, I'll, so I'll request name? it. Sorry? Your name? Uh, I don't give my name out. So just you're not willing to give your details, so you can't want... Why would I do that? Because you want a tour. Yeah, not today. That's fine. So what and I don't need to give my details for a tour. <laughs> It'd be a case of, can I come and make a video? If you guys want my details and I choose to give them to you, I will do. Okay, well but not got, for today, I'm not. You've got a phone number here we've got that you could take. Yeah, you perfect. Can, uh, phone in and contact. Sure. But obviously, we've got some very, very sensitive equipment. Well, that's why I, I always, that that's why I always announce drone. myself and I let you know what I'm planning to do. So what's well, I'm the not going to be permitting a drone to fly over equipment that would technically take the plant off. Who's, what do you mean permit it? You don't have the authority to permit me or to, to restrict me from doing it. So you're allowed to fly your drone over any building you see fit? Yes. Apart from prisons and, air, and airports, obviously. If I wasn't, I wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> Did you get your SIA badge on yet, by the way? Sorry? You haven't had it on all morning? I've had it on all morning. Well, it's still not on display, I can't see it. Okay, we have a press office number. Yeah, perfect, hold on. 
which is zero. I'll one. just I'll take a picture if that's okay. Thank you very much. You see it on your picture? Yeah. Brilliant, thank you very much. Thank you. So that's 01302 553 454. That's it. 24 Fantastic. hours a day, seven days a week. You can get hold of them. Perfect. So um, obviously, you know, I know it's a bit off the hop, but what is the process here? Obviously, you get waste coming in. Yes. And that's what? Just normal household waste? Yes. And then what happens? Does it go through a sorting process, then incinerator, then what, 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 is, what is the process? How do you get energy from waste? Because that's what... It's a fuel source same as it would be in a coal power station. Or so you, you burn it, power it, power it, it turns the steam, turn, it boils some water, turns the steam turbine, exactly. something like that. Perfect. That's all I wanted to know. Exactly. Because <laughs> the thing is, my, my YouTube channel focuses specifically on industry and businesses. And one of the things that a lot of people have been crying out for is renewable energy, obviously with the energy crisis. Yes. That's why I came on site today. Um, I know we got off on the wrong foot, sir, but I, I wasn't trying to be funny with you, but I'm just letting you know of the law with your SIA badge. I hope you take that on board. Sorry? Uh, okay, I'm not going to argue about it. You, you know it, and that's why you've gone a bit funny, because you know you should have it on display. But I'm not going to argue with you about that. Um, as far as the, the video goes, it's like I say, it's a little bit about the company or the industry. Get a few drone shots, goes over a bit of music, people like it, people see it, goes on YouTube. Happy days. That's it. So I'll be back out on the road, fly the drone over, 10 minutes, I'll be gone. All right. All right. To alleviate your concerns, would you like me to show you the legislation that does allow me to do it from the CAA website? I'm going to already phone this number myself and I'll get the company's view on it. Okay. So I'll get the company's version well, of what I, they would Well, I'll show you. Rather than well, to, do me a favour then. Yes. Point them in this direction, okay? Can you see that there? That's the Civil Aviational Drone, Drone Code website. This is what they'll need to look at. So it's the Drone and Model Aircraft Code, which is what we all have to adhere to. And it says there, fly below 120 meters, which I will be. Flying where there's hills, mountains, or cliffs, blah, blah, blah. Now this is the bit that will be relevant to them, okay? It says, do not fly closer to people than 50 meters. This includes people in buildings, transport, including cars, lorries, trains, and boats. You must keep a minimum horizontal distance of 50 meters between your drone and model aircraft and people. This creates a no-fly zone around those people. Now it goes on to say here, Keep at least 150 metres away from residential, recreational, commercial and industrial areas. However, small drones and model aircraft below 250 grams, you can fly small drones and model aircraft that are lighter than 250 grams in residential, recreational, commercial and industrial areas. And there's no minimum distance. So if my drone is below 250 grams, which it is, I can fly it as pretty much as close to the building as I want, but I've got to be sensible. Yeah, so I do a dynamic risk, risk assessment of my own where I assess the risks of me flying the drone I have my insurance I have my licenses and I do this every day so I won't be putting any of your building in danger I won't be putting any of the people on your site in danger and if something was to happen say for example I, I it dropped out of the sky and crashed I would straight away like I would do if I crashed into you in my car on the motorway I would give you my insurance details but until that happens you don't need them because it's a little bit like you driving down the road and asking every driver if they've got insurance isn't it I suppose so. Yeah, so does that alleviate your concerns? It doesn't. I've still got to go through what the company would okay. say. Well, that's I fine. For a firm. Yeah, yeah, of course. I know it's not your decision. Now, with the firm, okay, they control absolutely everything that goes on on their site. And when I'm on their site, I'll follow their rules, no problem at all, okay? And I won't be taking off from your site. But when I'm on public land, mm -hmm. the firm has no jurisdiction. So even if yep. they don't like it, they yep. can't stop it. Uh, okay, yep. and I'm just, they're not above the law. So. Mm -hmm. People have called the police in the past. Yep. I don't want you to do that, not because I'm worried, but purely because it'll be a waste of their time. Mm -hmm. Okay. As members of an organisation, as members of the public, you're free to use that, the police as you see fit. If you do want to call them or if you're going to call them, I'd rather you tell me now because I will wait for them so I can explain. Because if you call them and I, and I don't know they're coming and I've walked off, they're going to spend all afternoon looking for me. So, well, like I said, I, I will do what the company suggests I do once I've made contact with the company. Okay, fine. So I will contact the same phone number I've just given you. I Perfect. will see what their policy is regarding okay. the flight of drones over the place. And then if they was to suggest that we suggest you phone the police, then that's what I'll do as I'm led to. Okay, well, look, I'm going to be up outside your main gate for yep. probably the next 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if the police, if you are going to call the police, if they advise you to call the police, 
just do me a favour, be honest with them. Oh, no, no, okay? yeah, and I'd wander up and well, and I'd probably come and see you. Th that's well. fine. If, if I'm gone, just be honest with them and say, the chap's come onto site, he's shown us the CAA website, he's yeah. told us the class of his drone, which is below 250 grams. Yep. Because that's the key point. Because if they think it's over that weight, that's what that's when it becomes a, a, a sort of slightly different set of rules. Uh -huh. But it is under 250 grams. It's a DJI Mini 2, and you can Google that as well, and it will tell you exactly what the weight and the and uh, maximum takeoff weight of that is as well. DJI. 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 Mini 2. Sorry. Do you want to see it? See yeah, because I've got two in my bag. I've got a big one, which I won't be flying around here, and I've got a small one, which is the Mini. Uh, it's folded up. Sm smaller than that. Yeah, it's up. No, it's smaller than that when it's folded. Yeah. It's probably about the size. Um, it's probably about that size when it's folded. Oh, okay. okay. Right. Well, thank you very much, guys. What was your? What is your name? Sorry. Um, I know that I'm not committed to give you that. No, you're not. I was just trying to be polite. That's all. I know. And what was your name? You don't want to give me that, do you? Nope. See, the thing is, you're under a totally different set of regulations okay. than this chap here. Okay, and this is going to go on YouTube, and unfortunately, you are going to be painted in a bad light. And I didn't want that to happen. I wanted to come and have a nice conversation like I've had with you. You've been very civil, very cordial. Sorry? You've been here before. No, I've never been here before. Sure. 100%. No? I walked past your entrance about an hour ago because I went down to DHL. Not me. No, there's quite a few people that do videos like this on YouTube, but it's not me. This is the first time I'm visiting the site. Did they give you a bit of a bad time then? Okay. Well, I'm I'm not like that. I, I don't. He's known for trying to out. This one's known for trying to out companies like this. Out you for what? Well, you ever, you well, everything you're doing is good. We lie at what we do. No, but everything you're doing is good. Yeah, it is. Exactly. So what are they trying to out you for? I don't understand. Yeah, I've got to make some phone calls. So yeah, sure. Uh, we have to end the conversation. Oh, we're not talking. It's fine. We're, we're talking. But um, that's fine. If you need to get back to work, not okay. a problem. I'm but just yeah. going to close the window now. Uh, so I'll, they're going to you I was going to say, you're having a conversation. Yeah, look, I'm not trying to out anybody. Um, no, no, that's, this is what the other, the YouTube, this other YouTuber, because he wants exactly the same, he wanted to come on site. Yeah. Oh. Okay, who was that? I can't remember the gentleman's name. Um, but we did a site, um, some of the people we knew about him, um, being in some of their filming. Uh, and we looked at some of his websites, he's been sued a YouTuber. Yeah. See, there's a lot. Of no. See, there's 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 people out there that will um, they're like conspiracy theorists, and they will try and find they'll 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 start well they'll start yeah they'll start off with with their version of what they think is happening, and then they'll work out they'll work their way back and start from this interaction, and they'll connect the dots and go well that must be happening because that's happening and that's happening, and therefore aliens are on site. <laughs> that's just completely ridiculous, <laughs> and that's not what we do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it just. Yeah. Well, that's that's but that's brilliant. I mean, uh, you'll see it on the foot. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you you'll see it on the footage. As I was walking down, I was actually saying. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Because of the energy crisis and because of the Russian gas prices and electricity prices, it's amazing that we're doing things like this in this country, and it doesn't get enough publicity. And the, the, biggest, the, the, the biggest best thing about this place is it's not so much the it's producing the energy; it's stopping the landfill. Yeah, exactly. And you've got the waste the site next door. Landfills, yeah. So yeah, you've got a place. constant supply of fuel. <laughs> Yeah, not all of it. We'll, <laughs> take, we'll probably take some of it, but not all of it. Yeah. Um, but it, it, it's one of them things. Yeah, the landfill. You're looking at what, 50, 60 years before you've been used that ground. Well, exactly. You know. And then you've got to be careful what you're going to put on that ground because of yep. all the rubbish underneath. Well, when you've got made up ground, you need to do things yeah, like piling and slabs, and it costs the homeowners more money and yeah. the developers more money. So. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's yeah. Yeah. It's the gas build up from the landfill, yeah. Well, that's the thing. And, uh, you think about it, if that's burning that off, lots of 
between the earth now and what was the landfill. Well, exactly. Big sinkhole. And that's where you get yeah, your sinkholes, as I was going to say. Well, look, well, thank you very much, right? And, uh, and I'm glad you've taken the time to speak to me. And I'm sorry if I might have startled you when I first turned up, but I'm not here to out no, anybody. I'm, I'm just here to do a, a video about the sites that interest me and that interest my viewers. In fact, one of my, one of my viewers suggested this site, um, and also the, the G4S depot down the road. Did you know there's a G4S money depot down there? Uh, yes. What, no, 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 Opposite no. the cement place? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. So they suggested going down there, which I've done. Uh, that's all closed up. Um, security didn't even answer, the, answer the, the intercom to me on that one, but I took the drone over that. No that problem. Might have been What's that? Yeah, a mask up. Possibly, but then one of their employees walked out and then I asked him about it and then he buzzed and they, he couldn't even get an answer. They didn't even answer the intercom. But anyway, that's not you. It's not, not you. Yeah, yeah. Possibly, possibly. But it's not, it's not you guys. I mean, like, like I say, your, your site is, is, is very clean, very tidy, considering it is a rubbish burning facility. You know? yeah, we try our best to stop the rubbish. Which is great. Stop the rubbish from blowing it around. Yeah. I mean, yeah but this is the thing this is this is what i like to do i like to highlight the good of a business i don't like i don't go out looking for a, for confrontation it's just yeah, sometimes people No, see, mine, mine's a bit different. What I do is I, I do an audit. So it's a public audit. And because this is partly controlled or partly owned by KCC, it's partly public funded. And therefore, as a member of the public, we have the right to know where the money's being spent. And I want to highlight the fact that actually your money that you're paying to in your council tax is going to a fantastic cause. And it's, this is it. This is, you know, your renewable energy. I'm not sure the full is enough. Yeah, but they, they get some sort of funding Whether from them. Whether it's a contract or I don't know, same with that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, and because it's because it's partly funded or, or some some way or, or other KCCs are involved in the operation, well, yeah, we all pay council tax. Yeah, it's all coming out of that. Exactly. So so the, so the point is, I I I like to. I mean. You know, like my, my plan is to go over to the Maidstone Police Headquarters, apart from the fact that's not headquarters anymore, because that's public funded, and people want to know what's... Well, they got the, the Cold Harbour one. Yeah, that's traffic. Oh, is that traffic? Because I, uh, I went to Northfleet, which is now the new um, police headquarters, and I had a very interesting conversation with a sergeant there that had no idea about what he was talking about with drones. And I said the same thing to him. I showed him the same thing I've just shown to your colleague. You know, I can fly it. I'm, I, I, I don't have to let you know, but it's polite to because the thing is with drones, pe people look up and they see a drone and they go, oh my God, someone's spying on me. So if I come and announce yeah. myself and say, look, I'm going to fly a drone over, don't panic, it's only me, I'm going to be out there, I've got all the insurances, if I crash, you can have it all, it's not a problem. And I just think maybe we got off on the wrong foot with that. Um, but I, I can't be responsible for, for companies and people's naivety with it. And that's why I try and educate people. Yeah, well, that's why I try and educate. Um, CAA drone code yeah that's what you want to Google have a look at it and you never know you might get into it and you might buy yourself a drone and start using it as a hobbyist <laughs> but uh, maybe maybe not anyway um, I assume you're not gonna give me a name so it's not a problem but it was nice to, to speak to you um, and obviously the interaction started off a little bit cold but I appreciate you taking the time to remedy that and speak to me and explain a bit of it so um, I'm gonna be off up there now yeah. take the drone off I'll be up there for probably I'll be there for another 10 minutes. Okay. Um, and if you do want to come out and chat to me, anybody, I'll be up there. But just if, if I am flying, just please be polite and wait until I've landed because I don't want to be distracted. That's the thing, exactly. <laughs> right, thank you very much. No Take care, have a good day. Bye-bye. Yeah. <coughs> so, he turned that around a little bit, didn't he? Although, do we think that might be because I pointed out about the SIA badge and he was trying to desperately make good. I don't know. He seems like a nice chap. Maybe I just caught him off guard. He wasn't expecting it. Some people do react a bit strangely to people with cameras, I know. It's interesting to say that he's had somebody, uh, somebody down here already. 
oh, excuse me, trying to uh, out them. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they're up to no good. I think security needs a little bit of training, yeah, but I don't think they're up to no good. Anyway, we're there. We'll walk back up, we'll take off, get some shots, and I'll pick the uh, footage up if anyone comes out and talks to us. So guys, we're just across the road from the main entrance. Uh, and we are going to uh, take off. We've got satellites, home points being updated. So, let's go. Let's have a look at the... Uh... The home point has been updated. Please check oh, it on. on the map. Let's have a look at the site. Oh, it would help if I press record, wouldn't it? <laughs> there we go. Right, so, let's have a look at the waste energy recovery plant here. So, that's the... Uh, footpath that we walked down to get to the um, security window which is uh, just there where we spoke to that security guard <coughs> and then that uh, guy from the site I forgot what he said he was what his job title was did he even say I don't know I can't remember we'll fly over over here we got to about uh, 70, 80 meters. Oh, I forgot. I didn't put the screenshot from drone assist, so I'll pop it up on screen just now. So you can see that we're not in a flight restriction zone, but it does notify us of this uh, this chimney here, which we're not going to get too close to, but we are going to go and have a look at it. We're going to find out exactly what it is that this uh, structure is here, and we're going to try and find out at least. But it is exactly as we thought, so they burn the rubbish, that then boils water, which converts to steam, which then gets pushed through all these pipes, through a turbine, which then creates energy, which is great. And you can see there, that's the M20. So you can see this site from uh, from the motorway. Oh, uh... it looks very complicated. <laughs> Oh, looks very complicated. Surprisingly, though, it doesn't look like they've got any sort of solar panels. Now, considering this is a waste energy recovery plant, so therefore it's, you know, green energy, or, or not, well, not quite green energy, but it's uh, cleaner energy, you would expect them to have. Um, some sort of uh, renewable energy on site, solar panels, wind turbine, something, but they haven't, which I think is quite strange. And I think it's a fairly new plant as well. I didn't ask that question, but I assume it's new or newish in the last maybe 10 15 years. So it's not like solar wasn't a thing when they were building it, unless I'm completely wrong and it is uh, very old and they just like, kept it very well done. There's that, um, that little side road that we saw, it comes down, and it basically goes to nothing, look. Just this patch of wasteland here. It leads on to uh, this. Got a big spoil pile. You know, there's the way bridge, or way bridges. And the main vehicle gate. We're, uh, we are just there. You can see me waving, probably not. The black dot in the middle of the screen. <laughs> so again, there's still not a lot to see here, but interesting all the same. So, just put over here. So look, they've got the household waste depot there, and the waste energy recovery plant here, so it makes sense. That everything that goes there, or you know, a vast majority of, of the stuff that goes there, which just literally come across the road, down, and into this plant to be burnt and turned into cleaner energy. And you said that you don't, they do get a, a, a bit of the waste from there, but not all of it, because obviously there's probably stuff that you can't burn. But uh, 
be good if you could figure out how to burn everything so it doesn't go to landfill. So we go up to 120. Maximum flight altitude reached. And we'll get a panoramic 360 of the area as well. There's that, uh, there's the old Kent Police Headquarters, which he said is now the headquarters for the traffic division. So we'll check that out soon. Not today, but we'll check it out soon. And that's Allington. And off in the distance there is Maidstone. And the River Medway. And then this is the rest of the 2020 business park. So, that's it. We've got low battery warning, so we're going to bring the drone back anyway. So bring the drone back in. Bring it down. There we go, that's the drone back. So guys, that was the drone footage of the waste energy recovery plant down here in the 2020 industrial estate. Ah, oh, what do we think of that? I mean, started off a bit, a bit hostile, but uh, gave him a minute to calm down, went back just to let him know I was gonna fly the drone over. And then uh, that chap came out, spoke to us. And the security guard was still being a little bit hostile, but I think he realised that he was in the wrong and tried to remedy it by then standing there and talking to us and actually having a pleasant conversation. So failure on one thing, pass on another. Um, hopefully I've educated them both on the drone laws. Hopefully they go away and educate themselves on it. And... Uh, if they get anyone else taking an interest in their site again, they won't um, oh, take this mask off. They won't have a problem, but uh, let's see. Anyway, that's it for the video, guys. So as always, drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe if you want to see more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified when I post. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.